Hello, dear students, and welcome back. This is another English lesson for the third graders. The title of today's lesson is All the World's a Stage. My name is Miranda, and I will be your English teacher in today's lesson. These are the learning outcomes. As you can see, today you will be analyzing a poem you will be summarizing the main points from a poem and at the end of the lesson you will be asked to write an argumentative essay. As usual, you will need a notebook, a pen or a pencil, a device with internet connection, a QR code scanner if possible, and feel free to pause the video anytime you like. Take a look at this quote and think about it. Do you agree with it? Do you think that life is like a stage on which men and women merely play roles? Do you feel like an actor or actress in a film directed by someone else? Or do you feel like you are in charge of your life? Do you make your own choices or others do it instead of you and control your life? You are going to watch a video to find the answers to the following questions. Who is the author of the quote? What is the name of the play in which this quote appears? Which character delivers the speech with this quote? What is the name of the theatre where the play with this quote was first performed? What is another name for the poem, All the World's a Stage?
Let's check together. The quote was written by William Shakespeare, an English playwright, poet and actor, widely regarded as the greatest writer in the English language and the world's greatest dramatist who is often called England's national poet and the Bard of Avon, or simply the Bard. The play where this quote appears is called As You Like It. It is a five-act pastoral comedy that was first published in the first folio in 1623. This quote is part of the famous speech or the monologue that is spoken by the melancholy Jacques. The monologue is 28 lines long. Jacques's monologue is an echo of the motto of the New Globe Theatre, which was opened in the summer of 1599, and the motto was All the Globes a Stage, and the play was written in the same year, and it was likely performed something around 1603 at the Globe Theatre. All the World's a Stage is one of the most well-known poems of William Shakespeare, and it is also known as The Seven Ages of Man. Seven Ages of Man is written in three words using the narrative style. It is a narrative poem. It's a form of poetry that tells a story. It's typically told by just one narrator or speaker. It is written in metered words and it doesn't follow the rhythmic patterns. Read the poem Seven Ages of Man and answer these questions. Pause the video, type the link in the internet browser or scan the QR code and read the poem. Shakespeare ingeniously compares the world to a stage, periods of man's life to theatre plays, where people are actors in a play, and they play their roles until they go away from the stage forever. One of the most well-known poems of William Shakespeare describes the circle of human life, the process of aging, and it questions the purpose of human life. Pause the video and match the words from the poem with their synonyms. We can check the answers together. I'm sure you have done it correctly. Watch the video Seven Ages of Man on the following link or the QR code and answer these two questions. What roles does the man play in his lifetime and what are the seven ages of man? Let's see the roles that a man plays in his lifetime. The first one is an infant, an infant who cries in the arms of his nurse. Then he grows to a schoolboy trying to skip the school. The third stage is a young man or a lover who is lovesick and who is composing a ballad to his love. Next one is a grown-up soldier, ambitious, devoted to his vows and short-tempered. Later, a soldier retires and becomes a judge, using all the wisdom of his age. The sixth role is shown as an old man, who is aging in his home clothes, losing the sharpness of mind and strength of body. 
And the last age of man is returning to the infant state. It's a dying man who is losing one sight, ability to taste and hear, and is slowly going into oblivion. And the seven ages of man are infancy, boyhood, adolescence or teenage, youth, middle age, old age, and death. Let's move on to the next slide. We're going to take this comprehension check quiz on the poem Seven Ages of Man. You can find it on the following link or QR code. Pause the video and have fun. And here is your first task for today. Let's read it. You are in an English summer school in Exeter, UK. The school provides English courses for international students age 16 to 18 and you're attending a literature class of Mr. Howard, who is asking you to present one poem of your choice in front of the class. The poem must be written originally in your language. Read the poem on the following link, or you can scan the QR code if it's more convenient for you. Summarize the main points from the poem. You don't have to translate the poem word by word, but you need to grasp the main idea from the poem and relate to your international classmates and your teacher, Mr. Howard. Adapt the content bearing in mind cultural differences, paraphrase effectively in order to simplify the message for the recipients, Use formal language appropriate for the situation and the recipients. You should speak two to three minutes. Record the voice message and send it to a teacher for review. Here is a checklist that should help you complete the task successfully. And here is your second task for today. You should write an argumentative essay of 200 to 250 words. Your essay must have an introduction, body and conclusion, four paragraphs all together. The essay prompt is Some people think that they have no control over their life and that they are merely actors and actresses in a film directed by someone else. Others disagree and say that they are in charge of their life and they make their own scenarios. Discuss both these views and give your own opinion. And here is a quick overview of the essay format. Introduction the first thesis or the first view, the second thesis or view, and finally, conclusion. You should introduce each paragraph using a topic sentence, provide relevant support for each argument if necessary, use linking words to achieve natural flow of ideas, use complex structures, subordinate clauses, collocations, idioms, and so on. Do not repeat the same words from the prompt, especially in the introduction. Use paraphrasing, use different words within the essay, and give your opinion only in the summary. Here is a rubric to guide you through the task. Read it carefully and follow the guidelines. When you are satisfied with your essay, send it to your teacher for feedback. Good luck! And we have come to the end of the lesson. Until the next time, goodbye.